Regulations prohibiting gambling on social media are being sidestepped by apps offering users the opportunity to play casino-like games without any wages or winnings. But do these games contribute to problem gambling? 23-year-old Ashley Bresland first played the pokies at 19 years old. He now gambles up to half his wages every week. He also plays social casino games, but he sees no connection and no need for regulation. What is it? There's like some game on my phone, on uh, Apple Store called Max Axe, and uh, you get little, you collect little dice and like you gamble to like win other shit. Like that's that's gambling. The kids play that game. I don't think that's going to be have it for me. I think it's more cultural in terms of uh, young kids playing the pokies. However. Professor Alex Blazinski said that because social casino games mimic real-life casino games, but with different probabilities, they could lead to problem gambling. The issue basically is that many of these particular social casino games uh, mimic real-life games, except the free-to-play sites tend to have a higher probability of winning. That then sets up the uh, illusion of control or the notion that the person has particular skills that uh, overestimate the probability of uh, that particular person winning um, because quite often the the rates are much higher and the person ends up basically coming out ahead and so the next logical step is if I can win on these free games I should be able to win on the uh, pay to play sites because I have the skills um, but once they get onto the uh, pay to play sites then the odds change in favor obviously of the uh, operator and consequently the person loses. Once the person then starts to lose money, um, there's an increase in gambling behaviour in an attempt to try to recoup those particular losses, and that leads then to the downward uh, spiral. Social media gaming is a rapidly growing phenomenon. An estimated 173 million people worldwide play social casino games every month. While the games are free to play, like other non-gambling games online, Users can purchase virtual currency, gifts, and other enhanced features. The social casino game market was valued at US $2.9 billion in 2013 and is forecast to rise to US $4.4 billion by 2015. This is triple the size of the online gambling market. However, Cesar Alboran Torres said that the law must recognize that there is a difference between gambling and gaming. If they lead to problem gambling, there's proof that they lead to problem gambling, then I think that you know, regulation, you know, is in place. But so far that hasn't been proved. And as I said, you know, there is this notion or this preconception that gamers and gamblers are looking for the exact same thing, which is to make money. But that's not the case in social casino apps. Hmm? If anything, you know, if you take like the like the like devil advocates stance, they could be preventing gambling. You know, you could make that argument. I'm not saying that they do. You know, but if you are involved in a gambling-like situation where there's no money at risk, mm -hmm, you're not going to lose like $100,000 a year like some problem gamblers do, then they may be even preventing, you know, problem gambling. And for Ashley Bresland, these games are just to fill time until he can gamble with real money again. I think it was more when I wasn't gambling for money. I wanted to simulate... Yeah, I want to get a similar feeling. The development of casino games on social media will certainly be a test for lawmakers. But until more concrete evidence of a link can be shown, regulators will just have to keep a watchful eye on this growing sector of social media. Ellen Sachs, reporting for Ping.